So I thought we'd just compare two burgers this week. Obviously, I've been to Hans before uh, for another burger, but this one is very similar to Miller and Carl, which I, I genuinely didn't realise until I read through the menu last night thinking what would be the next best um, place to review. Obviously, we've reviewed quite a few now. So to compare a couple of burgers, and as I say, I think Miller and Carter are by far the best so far, 10 out of 10. Um, but this burger from O'Hans is very similar. So British beef patties, slow cooked pulled beef, very similar to Dirty Burger with the barbacoa. Um, eight hour marinated steak slices, again, very similar to the fillet tails. Homemade smoky mayo, obviously difference completely. Melted cheese, whereas Monterey Jack cheese on the Dirty Burger. Fresh tomato lettuce, um, crispy fried onions, which I guess would be very, very similar to the onion loaf, although that was more of a chunk, as you can see, obviously, in comparison there. Um, but they, were, they weren't far off. Um, I can't say they were identical. Obviously, the pretzel bun versus the brioche bun um, gave it a bit more substantial kind of um, in terms of the bun. Gave it more structure um, in terms of a pretzel bun. Now, if they'd have not wrapped it in paper and had a very similar box to Miller and Carter, I think you, you wouldn't be far off, to be fair. They were both really good burgers, both full in terms of the meat content, quantity, and the flavours, were, I think, were brilliant. A uh, little bit softer meat in terms of uh, our hands, but I think that was just because the burger was thinner and the steak slices being slices uh, versus the fillet tails. Although obviously sliced on the Miller and Carter. The halloumi fries you can see there, they were actually now not as chunky as they used to be. They're more like Miller and Carter, but they were obviously standard. They, they were brilliant. Not quite as crispy coating as Miller and Carter. So I guess swings and roundabouts, it's, it's you know similar um, sort of cooking method, but they were both very nice. The fries from O'Hans, I would say, are easily comparable to Miller and Carter, but Miller and Carter, I would say, win on the fries especially if you got them kind of straight out. But as you'll see in a second, the burger uh, with the pretzel bun, that's kind of really the only difference. Um, not quite as high, so there's not nowhere near the height that the Miller and Carter burger had. Um, but plenty of cheese. The smoky mayo, you know, if it was comparable to the burger sauce, again, these you wouldn't really, really be able to sell them apart. The burger, as I say, is a little bit thinner on the Her Hands burger, and probably, overall, as you can see there, probably slightly less meat. So obviously Miller and Carter kind of win on that. The crispy fried onions, very similar to the onion loaf, but again, slightly less of them. But everything in terms of flavor was, was really, really good. Um, a little bit probably more mushy kind of burger because the burger itself was more of a smashed patty than uh, Miller and Carter's being a traditional um, patty. So I can't really say they were bad, like comparable, like one's bad, one's not. Um, they were just different, but they were very, very similar. So as the burger wasn't as substantial as the Miller and Carter's, I would say sort of a point off for that. Um, but Miller and Carter just had that something extra. I think the burger sauce and the dipping, beef dripping, uh, dipping sauce, that, that really kind of added to it. And as I sort of put there, that almost Miller and Carter, but not quite. The, they're not far off. The, like I said, the pretzel bun probably was slightly better, but um, I just don't think Miller and Carter had that as an option. But overall, the flavors, very comparable. Um, I can't really knock too much off. I mean, a point, maybe two points. Um, I wouldn't say it's 10 out of 10 because of the way they wrap it. That's another thing in terms of the delivery. But overall, as a meal, Ohan's brilliant. So I would say these guys, as a comparison and as a meal, eight out of ten not really much to differentiate them so price wise slightly cheaper but you don't get the mac and cheese however a very good place i appreciate all the views the likes and the subscriptions and everybody that tunes in so catch you on the next one